welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, this would be um a couple of topics that we will be discussing or I'll be sharing with you. So first is a summary of our Hong Kong trip and then haul as well and then some updates and um things you need to know when you're traveling to Hong Kong, especially with the situation right now. So, is it safe to travel to Hong Kong? Is it safe to travel with kids? How's the situation in Hong Kong? How's Hong Kong? So, if you want to know that, keep on watching. And before that, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Um, click that notification bell so you are updated with all the vlogs that I will be posting. So, um, this December onwards, since we just celebrated our one-year anniversary, so vlog, I'll be now uploading twice a week. So, every Sunday, um, 11 a.m. and then every Wednesday at 7 p.m. So, yeah, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and let's proceed to the video. Yon, so, um, summary of our Hong Kong trip. So, basically, we traveled to Hong Kong from November 23, um, 6 a.m. yung flight namin and then we just arrived today today is November 28th um, ang flight namin was 11.25 a.m. so basically that's 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 28 6 days, 6 full days um, actually 5 and a half days 5 full days and then yung last day kasi namin was just traveling back to Manila um Yun yung travel date namin. Weather is really nice. Siguro roughly siya around 18 to 21 degrees. The morning, it's very sunny. So, mga 20, 21 degrees siya in the morning. During this, yung days na pumunta kami. And then, in the evening, it's roughly around 17 to 19. So, medyo malamig siya. Um ni naman siya sobrang like winter like pero um sweater weather kumbaga so yun yung yun yung um weather nung pumunta kami doon where we stayed so we had two hotels first was with hotel cozy that's in Kwai Hing um area so medyo dulo siya ng um Chunwan na line so, Kwan Hing area siya. And then, the second hotel was with yung hotel room tour ng Hotel Cozy Oasis. Um, that's on our day one vlog. Kasi this one, this vlog will be released first before yung day vlogs natin. So, I'll link that on the description box once it's uploaded. And then, um, we also stayed at Disney Hollywood Resort. That's our second hotel. So, Hotel Cozy Resort, we stayed that, there for two nights. And then, for in Disney Hollywood Resort, we see, we stayed there for three nights. So, yung mga hotel room tour, I'll leave that on the description box and on the link above as well. Um, how is Hong Kong? Um, I could say, kasi we are traveling with three toddlers. So, one infant and then two toddlers. And, um, we were supposedly to stay, supposedly magsistay kami along TST area, but before yung flight namin, there were um, unforeseen events. So, kinancel namin yun. Kinancel namin yung hotel namin doon. And then, we stayed far sa city. So, yung Chun One Station, yun yung pinakadulo ng Red Line Station. So, medyo malayo siya. Pa lapit na siya patawid papuntang Lantau Island. Kasi di ba ang Disneyland is in Lantau. So, dun na siya, ganun siya kalayo. Ganun siya kalayo in the city. Um, but, we also visited Mong Kok and TST where we bought yung mga pasalubong hall natin for today. And I might say, um, 
you can still see some vandalisms everywhere and then based on sa someone na kilala namin doon meron pa din but not as you know not as um like what happened before yung November yung before yung flight namin when we, we when we were there um it was parang bisperas ng election nila like local election nila and then after election wala namang masyadong like you know wala namang masyadong um news about rallies or what's happening um kasi when we were there fortunately for us wala kaming na experience wala kaming nakita ng rally but um, yun nga, makikita mo talaga na merong mga nasira. But, they are already fixing it. So, parang konti na lang. Kasi on Mong Kok area, maraming exit ang hindi mo mapupuntahan. Actually, sa ibang stations din. Like, in Tung Chung Station, may mga exits na closed. In Mong Kok area, may mga exit na closed. May mga maraming elevator na hindi gumagana and then may mga um, what's that entrance, yung mga top nila top, pang top card nila papuntang MTR na hindi gumagana and then sa TST same din, mayroon mga exits na hindi gumagana and uh, may mga top card din na hindi gumagana um, and then when we we're at Avenue of the Stars. Ano siya? Um, may mga makikita ka pa rin, like, um, some, some vandalisms everywhere. And then, but yung mga bricks nila na nakita natin on the news, it was already fixed. Natabunan na nila yun, which is, you know, very nice. Kasi, um, hindi mo siya ganun ka-feel na matatakot ka. I may say na hindi ko, hindi siya 100, I can't say na safe na siya because I, I believe ongoing pa rin yung situation nila doon. But, um, I think, you know, based on our experience, it was, it was okay. Um, make sure lang to download um, the MTR app Kasi basically, yun yung ginamit ko para malaman ko kung ano yung mga closed na station. So, University Lane, University Station is still closed. Um, and then, ina-announce nila until what time lang yung MTR stations nila. So, minsan 11.30, depende. Meron pa rin mga um, na, hin na magulo. Yun, yun lang yung masasabi ko. But, so far, it was... Yeah, it was okay. The, the experience. There are delays in, on the MTR. Pero hindi naman siya sobrang delay. Like, 10 minutes delay. Then, or 10 to 25 minutes delay. Depende ko sa ka pupunta. Yeah, so, if you're traveling with kids, family, just make sure to do your research. Um, kasi you can't still say it. Um, hindi mo pa rin talaga masasabi what will really happen during, you know, the days that you will be going. But so far, <coughs> so good. Um, what we did was, we when we arrived, 23, kasi morning yung flight namin, so nag-check-in lang muna kami, and then, um, pahinga talaga yun. And then, Sunday, Sunday was the election day, so we went to um, Macau para to avoid um, the election day and then Monday um, we nag check out na kami to Hotel Cozy and then we traveled to um, Disney um, Hollywood Resort to check in and then we did Tung Chung uh, Ngong Ping 360 and then Tuesday we did Disneyland um, Wednesday, we did Mong Kok and TST. 
And then first day, yeah, we we, we went back to Manila na. So yun yung yun yung um, itinerary of um naginawa ko during on, on those days. Um but we stayed longer when we are when we when I was there noong February of this year. So I'll leave that on the description box, uh, the playlist of my February Hong Kong. I I would say it was really different. Um hindi siya like, you know, really totally different. Meron lang talaga you know the delays, um, the Dice! hassle. Dice! Dice! So yun, hindi siya ganun ka different. Um, when I was here, when I was there, February, Margo, no. And but um, yun nga, makikita mo talaga na it's really different. Um, medyo vigilant ka lang on your surrounding, kasi you know, and and daming police outside. Um, talagang nagpapatrol sila or what. And very uh, mahigpit yung security nila on airport, um, uh, on everywhere. So, yun lang naman, but not really, you know. Um, kasi, yun, after election na kami nakapunta. But, um, still, do your research. And now, let's proceed with our haul. So, we got a few things on um, ladies market in city gate outlet and also on Disneyland. So, ito. So, unahin natin yung mga nakuha ko on um Mongkok area. Kasi ito yung mga pasalubong na binili na ni, mand, ni, ni mother sa Mongkok area, sa ladies market. And then, um so let's start off with this one. Yan. Yeah. So this is like, you know, a, a souvenir Hong Kong statue. Actually, we have one na ganito, but small kasi yung nabili namin last time. So bumili si Mama ng full size kasi we already have for Singapore, for Malaysia, for Macau. And then yung Hong Kong niya na ganito, maliit lang. Ganito kaliit lang. Mga ganito lang. Ganito lang siya kaliit. So, bumili kami ng medyo ganitong size. This is actually um, $100. Or $80. This is actually $80. Yeah, $120. No, $150 siya. Tama ba? Oo, $150 siya. Um, binibigay sa atin ni ate. And then, tinawaran namin from 120 to 100 and then we got it for $80. So, um, I leave the um, conversion here para ma-convert nyo siya in peso. Next items okay, we have is pasalubong as well. So, these are like, kasi... Yung mga typical pasalubong, but we, we got, um, eto, mga salamin. Yan, salamin with the Hong Kong design on it. Yan, Hong Kong. Yan. Hong Kong. Yan, Hong Kong. I love HK. So, this are, ito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 pieces. Four hundred dollars. Actually, tinatawaran namin siya for eighty dollars, para ten dollars each lang. But hindi po mayek si ate. So for eight pieces, this are um we have, yeah, these are eight one hundred dollars siya. One hundred dollars for eight pieces. Na salamin. This is actually salamin yah. Salamin siya. Yeah, salamin. So yeah. Siya. Pasalubong lang ni Mama dun sa mga ka-office mate niya. And, syempre, hindi mawawala ang pasalubong na t-shirt. Um, we got, we see, we got, we got, we see, we got, we got. Kasi last year, para ang nabili namin, six, um, six t-shirts for 100 Hong Kong dollars. Ngayon, may nakita ako dun na nagbebenta. Um, hindi na kami bumili ng t-shirt ng Hong Kong kasi meron na kami. So, yung mga bidila na lang namin is yung mga bata. Yan, si Margo and then yung mga pinsan ko. Um, yun, si Mama bumili lang. So, we have... So, I have here, yan, Hong Kong. Siya, Hong Kong. Yan, yan mga Hong Kong t-shirt. This is actually 7 
for $100. So, 7 pieces na siya for $100. Yan. Kasi yung iba ang nag-offer 5 for 80, then iba 6 for 100. May nakita ko 7 for 100 dollars. So, lahat na yun, lahat ng sizes na yun. From maliit to pinakamaliit nila hanggang biggest size, which is I think, triple XL yata. So, yun. Other items I have, yan. Ito, keychains lang that my mom got in Hong Kong. Um, I'm not sure how much niya nakuha to. But I think this two for $100 to. And then this Johnny. magnets. Itong magnets is for, for $100. Yan, apat. For $100. Apat siya. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 ang isang ganito. So, 20 pieces for $100. Mga ano lang. Pamigay lang. And then, what else? Ay, ito pa pala. And this one. <laughs> Yan, this bag. Yan, itong bag. Kita ko lang siya kasi ang cute niya kasi talaga. It's maganda yung quality niya. Maganda yung itsura niya. Makapal din. Cute kasi talaga siya. And then, actually, yung unang bigay ni ate sa akin dito is, ang unang bigay sa akin ni ate dito is $150. Sabi ko, expensive. Hindi. So, umalis ako and then, tinanong niya ako, how much, how much? So, sabi ko, $100. So, binigay niya sa akin ng $100 this one. And then, ano siya, detachable siya. And then, pwede mo siyang ikabit. And then, nakakabit siya yan. Nakakabit siya yan, nilobat na ako. Nakakabit siya this one. Yan, makakabit mo siya. Yan, makakabit mo. Yan, makakabit mo siya. Ganyan. Para ano, hindi siya malaglag. Yan. So, may backpack na si Marco. Cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, last item that I have, I have is this one. Nakita ko lang siya sa Crocs. Kasi akala ko kasha siya doon sa isang labili kong shoes ni Margo. So, this are, ito yung mga, um, ano ba ang tawag nila dito? Yung mga kinakabit sa Crocs. So, ayan. Ayan mo, ayan. I have Minnie. I have Elsa. I have Anna. Ayan. Mickey Mouse. Then, make M na word. Ayan. Actually, may isa pa to. Anim da pa to. Ayan. Ayan sila. Actually, anim to. Nawala ni Margo yung isang letter M na partner ng Mickey. Yung mini mouse na letter M. Nawal na hulog ni Margo. Hindi ko alam kung saan. So, this is um, six, six pieces for $100. Ayan. Yung kinakabit sa mga butas sa Crocs. So, yun yun. Sa Crocs ko siya mismo nabili. Kaya medyo kind of pricey siya. Pero sale kasi sila. So, binili ko siya. Kasi akala ko kasha siya dun sa sapatos na nabili ko kay Margo. Na hindi Crocs brand. Pero kind of look. Kind of look like Crocs. Kind of look like Crocs. Ganun. So, yun. So, yun lang yung nabili ko on um, Ladies Market. Along Ladies Market. And then... Um, we also went to TST, ba? So, nakakita lang ako sa um, color mix ng sale sila. Naka-sale kasi sila. So, I, ha I have to buy I have to buy both. I have to buy masks. Mayroon lang ako ng mask. This is actually, ito, 10 pieces yung la laman niya. Tama ba ako? Tama, 10 pieces yung laman niya. Um, 10 pieces. Pero kapag isa lang yung binili mo, this is actually $120. 120 siya kapag isa lang yung binili mo. Pero kapag bumili ka ng apat, <laughs> nag-hoard, magbumili ka ng apat, this for magiging um, $200 na lang siya. $200 apat pa. So, chanay ko naman yung expiry date. Hindi pa naman siya mag -e expire Ah, uh, masan ba yun? Nasaan yung expiry date? No? Galing. Ano pa kayo? Manufacturing pala ito. 
Ni naman kasi yung mga ang manufacturing date niya 2019 naman eh. So hindi pa siya like mag-expire. So um I have Aqua Glow Illuminating Mask. Yan. I mix yung tataka. And then Pearl Marine Illuminating Mask. And then um another yan Aqua Glow Illuminating Mask. And then, Honey Propolis Illuminating Mask. Yan. So, ito yun. Apat siya. Apat for $200. So, magiging $50 each na lang siya. ba? So, parang buy to get to something siya. Ganun na, naging promo. Or naging sobrang less. 50% yung isa niya. So, yun. Yung, yung mask lang yung binili ko on Mong, um, TST area. And then, the next item that I'll share is yung nabili namin on Disneyland! So, so then, <laughs> bumili ako ng headband ko kasi this one is $119. Kasi yung mga normal nilang Mickey Mouse headband um, ranging siya ng mga $149, $158 so this one is $119 and then this is ito yung Christmas edition na um, headband nila so basically kapag bumili ka nito um, $50 nung binili mo will be ta, yung proceeds nun will be going to charity so yan, try natin siya ngayon and then bell na clip yan dapat headband yung bibilhin ko kay Margo kaso hindi siya nag headband kasi so, binili ko bell na clip kasi naka-bell siya na outfit. So, yan. Insert ko yung picture niya na naka-bell outfit siya. Tapos, yan. Nakasulat ko. This is actually $149. Pero, since meron kaming coupon discount, so, less than $10 siya. So, $139 to. Cute! Ayan, din dinampot kasi ni Margo. Ayun yung bitawan. So, binili namin si Tiger. Ayan. Ayan. Tiger na plush. Sa Hong Kong Disneyland. Hello! Ayan. This is from $109. Less $10 kami. So, $99 siya. <laughs> Next! one. This one is for baby Lian. So, baby socks. Disney socks. This is actually $78. Itong two pairs. Mickey Mouse. Cutie. And then, lastly, ito. Kasi kasama ko yung brother ko. Yung um, younger brother ko. And then, ito. Pasalubong niya sa jowa niya. Um, Minnie Mouse na keychain plush. This is actually $100. $100 siya. Ayan. Cutie! Ayan. Ito. Naka keychain siya. Ayan. Ayan. Sa Disneyland lang, mabubroke ka lang talaga dun. Kasi nga, medyo pricey yung items. Medyo pricey din yung food. Um... Pero, I suggest you can go to Starliner if you're looking for medyo mura. Starliner, yung medyo mura. Pero, big servings naman sila. Um, I think, compared to the other restaurants there. Yun. And then, yun. Kapag bibili ka pala sa Disneyland, I suggest um, dala kayo ng um, own eco bag nyo. Or, if you want to have, like, a souvenir plastic from them. Kasi, one dollar each yung plastic nila. So, kung ayaw mo magbayad ng one dollar, dala ka ng sarili mong eco bag. Or, if you want to have, you know, 
um, a plastic, you have to pay one dollar for each plastic that you have. And then, yun, pala sa mong, kapag bibili kayo sa mong kok, along ladies market, um, huwag kayong mahiyang tumawad, especially sa ladies market. So, as in talaga ang tawad, tawad galore. And then, what I normally do, or what we normally do is, we ask the price, if we want that, we ask the price, tanungin namin yung price, and then, lalayo kami. So, habang palayo ka ng palayo, pamura siya ng pamura. So, ganun yung ginawa ko sa bag. So, from 150, sabi ko, no, 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 no. So, lalayo ako. Tapos, hahabulin ka nila, tatanungin nila, how much, how much. Magkano, magkano. Kasi, they know how to speak Tagalog yung mga ganun. Kasi, feeling ko lang na majority ni Nag um, tumatawa doon are Filipinos. So, magkano, magkano. So, bigay nyo lang yung magkano and then, doon kayo mag-start mag-hagel. So, yun. Um, on City Gate Outlet, um, hindi ako yung namili, but yung mother ko yung pumili. Kasi wala rin naman ako nagustuhan sa shoes. So, we went to the Nike store and um, First is yung binili ko kay Margo. Yan. This one. This is the Nike Foam Force 1. So, this is actually from $329. Um, $269 na lang siya. And then, less 30% off pa. So, yung $269, less 30% off pa. So, when we went there pala, the conversion rate is $6.8. Ay, $6.8 peso. 6.8 yung palitan. So, 1 dollar nila is 6.8 natin. So, ganun yung palitan. So, yun. Yan siya. So, ito yung sinasabi ko. Nakala ko kasha yung mga bilog ng crocs. But, hindi. Kasi medyo maliit yung butas. Or, hindi lang ako marunong magpasok. But, yan. Yan siya. Cute! And then, my mother bought ay, no, shoes. So, yung other shoes niya is, what's this? Um, women's Nike Vial, Vial Slip? How do you pronounce that? Hindi ko alam kung paano siya i-pronounce, but that's it. And this is actually from $499. $399 na lang siya, and then less 30%. Pa. So, yan siya. Yan. Slip on siya. Slip on na Nike. Yan. Ay, may Nike na ganyan. Yan, Nike. Yan, Nike. Yan. Sobrang yan. yan. Gusto, gusto niya to kasi slip on lang siya and then magaan pa. And then, yun, alam mo yun, pwede niya gamitin for like work, errands, and, and etc. And, et and then, the last item. The last item that we, ha with, that we bought pala on Nike store is the woman's Nike Epic React Fly Knit 2. Yan siya. And yeah, ang cute na to. Sobrang ganda. Uh, nagustuhan din siya ng mother ko. And kasha rin yan sa akin. So, dual purpose to. Kaya pinush kong bilhin niya. Bilhin namin. Ipabili niya yan. Bilhin namin. Kasi yan. Yan yung Chichura niya. Yan. Very, very, very nice. I like the color. I like, I like, I super like it. As in, sobrang like ko. Like, sobrang like ko siya. This is actually, ito yung medyo expensive. Medyo mahal ko eh. Uh, this is actually from $1299. Um, naging $999 na lang siya. And then, less 30%. So, yun. This one. So, I think yun lang. Yun lang yung binili namin. So, yeah. So, that's it, guys. This is ating Hong Kong vlog. So, um, konti lang din yung pinamili namin. Kasi, basically, nag-splurge pa kami on chocolates. Which I'll be doing on a separate video. Um, and, um, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy this this vlog and I hope may nakuha kayong information on this vlog as well. Um, just make sure lang, just remember lang the be vigilant and then um, check for updates and um, be, you know, 
yun yung sinasabi nila, travel at your own risk. Kasi hindi rin talaga siya ganun ka-stable. It might be like stable when I went there. Pero hindi mo rin kasi talaga mak masasabi na during on other days, hindi mo rin siya like masasabi talaga. Um, so, be, be very extra careful. Especially when you are with kids. And then, um, yeah, I think I think that's it really um, from me, and I don't have anything else that I can share. But yeah, um, for those who are traveling um, to Hong Kong, be safe. Um, ingat kayo, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this if you enjoyed. Um, Comment on the sec uh, on the description box below if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or anything else. Um, and I'll see you guys on our next vlog. So be good. Bye. Peace.